can't make this shit up, man. Here we are with the white liberal teacher within the school system pushing more soft bigotry with low expectations. She says that we should lower our expectations for black students because they suffer from PTSD. They suffer from trauma. They suffer from systemic racism. So we now know that trauma like just makes it almost infinitely harder to learn when you're a child. And we also now know that systemic racism is essentially an adverse childhood experience. And many researchers qualify systemic racism as an adverse childhood experience, which means that children who are black and brown in our schools are expected to be excellent while suffering from complex PTSD. And on top of that, we're also expecting these students to be excellent in a space that is actively hostile to them, their way of being, who they are as people, their history, their ancestors, everything. This is exactly what parents across America are talking about. They might not be teaching CRT at the grade level. Yeah, they might be teaching it in law school at the college level, but they are definitely teaching exactly what this lady just displayed. Their woke ideologues, victimhood, anti-white self-hate rhetoric. I mean, you, you can tell that this woman had no validity or strong stance in what she just said. I don't even truly think that she believes what she just said. She's literally regurgitating what she heard from somebody else. It's, it's soft bigotry of low expectations. How can she tell what trauma a child is going through based off the color of their skin? She's too busy trying to be a social justice warrior and doesn't even realize she's being racist. She's literally treating kids differently because of what color they are. I mean, make that make sense. It's people like this that are dividing us in this country, man. It's people like this that think that they're doing more good, but they're actually doing more harm through their ignorance, through pushing these, these woke ideologues. Nobody wants their kids talked to like this in a condescending way, in a euphemistic way. Oh, oh, I know you, you're hugely marginalized. Don't worry, you don't have to get an A on the test. Just get a D and that'll be fine. Which, which my question to her would have been, so because you think that they're hugely marginalized and you think that there's people on the 13th floor collaborating to hold them back or there's some type of white supremacy dust floating around that they can breathe in and that's why they got bad behavior and why they fail. Since you think that, how do you, how is lowering the expectation setting them up for their adult life? To me, you're setting them up for failure. Don't talk to my kids like this. Don't teach my kids that they are a less than or some type of uh, inherently at a disadvantage because it's demotivating. White supremacy and, and systemic racism and slavery is not the reason why these people have bad behaviors and why they fail. Did you ever take into account culturally something might be going on? Whenever you glorify suicidal poetry on a good beat, whenever you glorify the ignorance, the lowest common denominator of our society, did you ever take into account the single parent homes could be a major intricate piece uh, in why they possibly may be struggling in school? Parents are not home able to work with the children with their homework or they're not doing what their part and in being involved in the child's education. Did you ever take that into account? Do I have to regurgitate to you uh, 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 y'all's black Messiah, Barack Obama, him quoting you the stats of living in a single family home? Five times more likely to live in poverty and uh, um, committing a crime. Nine times more likely to dropping out of school. 20 times more likely to go into prison. That's y'all's black messiah. The same black messiah that told you that there is no excuse. I think it was 2013 at the Morehouse College. Uh, he told the students, uh, uh, he told them that there's no excuse. Craig ain't telling you that. That's y'all's black messiah telling y'all that. There's no excuse. It don't matter how your upbringing is. It doesn't matter what discrimination you've been, bro. The previous gen, it's a pale. The previous generations have already overcome. I understand there's, there's a common fraternity creed here at, at Morehouse. Excuses are tools of the incompetent used to build bridges to nowhere and monuments of nothingness. 
Well, we've got no time for excuses. Not because the bitter legacy of slavery and segregation have vanished entirely, they have not. Not because racism and discrimination no longer exist. We know those are still out there. It's just that in today's hyper-connected, hyper-competitive world with millions of young people from China and India and Brazil, many of whom started with a whole lot less than all of you did, all of them entering the global workforce alongside you, nobody is going to give you anything that you have not earned. Nobody cares how tough your upbringing was. Nobody cares if you suffered some discrimination. And moreover, you have to remember that whatever you've gone through, it pales in comparison to the hardships previous generations endured, and they overcame them. And if they overcame them, you can overcome them too. So I don't want to hear this. There's no excuse. Stop trying to make excuses. Stop with the white guilt. Stop thinking that we're hugely marginalized and treating us like we're handicapped because we are capable of being able to achieve and do anything just like anybody else in this country. This is the stuff that is dividing, dividing us and it has to stop. Me as a parent, I do not want my child taught this. I do not want any teachers around my kid teaching them to be a victim, teaching them to be anti-white. Wasn't it Martin Luther King Jr. that said, don't judge a person off the color of their skin, but off the content of their character? I want my kids taught that. I want my kids to treat other people how they want to be treated, regardless of what color they are. So stop it. Put it in the comments what your thoughts are. I ain't going to make this video long, man. This stuff pisses me off, man. Um, you know, if this is your first time on the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. Everybody else that's been elevating my voice, thank you. I'm very grateful. Thank you for all the super thanks. Thank you for using the links to support me directly. I'll be sure to keep putting them in the description. Keep continuing to like, comment, and share, putting a middle finger to their algorithm. As you guys know, they try to shadow ban and throttle the truth. It's your boy, Craig Long, 45. You can't make this shit up. I'm out. Peace. Yeah,